then we go ahead and go up to the top. From the first cut, we mark five. So don't include the end, because that's going to give you a false reading. So start from that first slit in, then we go five and five. Okay, now what you're going to do, we're going to go ahead and just follow the shape of your rectangle. So from the top to the corner, we're going to go ahead and cut it. From the tip to the bottom slit. The good thing to do is if you have a little flower and then keep them on top of each other, they insulate the cold temperature so that the dough doesn't get too soft too quick. So stack them like that. Just make sure there's a little bit of flour. There should be. We're just rolling it out on your table. Once again, half of the dough is going to make regular croissants. So don't get confused. Say, Chef, use the whole thing. Don't want there to be confusion on it. My little babies, I'm still going to use them. If you go ahead and you mess up, do not, do not try to re-roll this. What you're doing is you're ruining the layers. If you take a look at your dough, it's really nice and cold. It should have several layers of fat and dough, fat and dough. Now, there's several reasons why we chill our dough. You may want to write this down. <laughs> to create layers, so we have that flaky layer texture to our dough. So if the butter is cold, it'll pop right up. You will not ooze out everywhere. Huh? Uh, uh, steaming, steaming process. Steaming process. So it pops up. You know, when the butter is cold, it'll pop. If it's very warm, it'll just leak out and fry everywhere when you try to cook it. She means it'll open up. 